Okay, so Advent of Code 2022 has just ended, and I thought it'd be fun to uh, try and speed run solving uh, the first day's puzzle for each Advent of Code event uh, from 2022 all the way back to the first event in 2015, um, and solve them using my personal competitive programming language, Slouch, uh, which I developed pretty much expressly for this purpose, solving these like simple problems really fast. So I'm going to aim to solve all of these in around like five minutes. So seven problems in about five minutes. And uh, yeah, let's see if that's achievable. Um, so I'm not going to slow down to explain the syntax or the semantics of the language. But if you do have a question about anything, um, just drop a comment and I'll be happy to explain how it works. Okay, so I already have my REPL set up. Uh, with day one loaded, so let's get to it. So day one, we have these groups of ints, and we want to sum each group and then find the maximum of those sums. So groups, sum up the ints, find the max, okay, done. Part two, we want to find the top three sums and then sum those. So year. Um, okay, so count the number of times a depth measurement increases. Okay, so this one, we take the window of two, count the number of increases. Okay, um, then consider sums of a three measurement sliding window. So we just do window of three to start and then sum each of those. So I'm find the two entries that sum to 2020. So choose two of them. Find the first that sums to 2020, and then take the product. And part two is the same exact thing, just with three numbers. So that takes slightly longer, but uh, still fast enough. Right, 2019, uh, this one we just have to apply a simple function to each of these ints, and then sum the results. So we just divide by three and subtract two. And then part two, we have to iterate that function until it is no longer positive. So iterate. This one, yeah, so this one you literally just, it's a bunch of ints, and you add them together. It's done. And then part two, you want to find the first one that um, occurs twice. So, and you have to cycle them because it may take more than one cycle. But then we're going to do scan, find all the duplicates, and then find the first duplicate. Okay. 2017. Uh, this one, we're looking at all of the digits. And you need to pair each digit with the one next to it. So that's going to require sort of a circular list again, but we're actually going to use zip here instead. We're going to zip the list uh, with itself, rotated by one. And we want to find all of the pairs uh, that are equal. All together. Oops. All right, and in part two, it's pretty much the same thing, except um, you just have to rotate by half the length of the list instead of by one. All right, uh, 2016, uh, I lied. I'm not doing day one because it's a big pain. You have to parse things and move around a stateful agent within a grid. So we're going to do day three instead, which is about triangles. So this one, um, split into lines, and you have a triangle for each line, and then it's a triangle if 
all the permutations have the property that two sides sum together are greater than the other side. And then uh, part two, we just have to wrangle this a bit. So we have to uh, transpose this to get the columns and then split into three again and then just apply our same predicate there. X plus y greater than z. 15, 26, all right, good. All right, last day, 2015. This one, um, basically mapping an open paren to a plus one and a closed paren to a minus one. So we need to translate. Uh, that becomes one. And that becomes a minus one. Sum them all together to get part one. And then part two, find the position of the first character where you enter the basement. Okay, so that's going to become a scan. And then we want to find the index of negative one. Um, but because it's zero based offsets, uh, we need to add one. And there we go. Um, I think that was, yeah, about five minutes. So I will consider that a success. And uh, look forward to seeing you all for Advent of Code 2023.